What is up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Captain Redbeard, and today we are continuing on with our playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077 and also the Phantom Liberty DLC, which we will be getting to after we complete the storyline of Cyberpunk 2077. We are still doing the basically the intro to the game before the entire thing is open, um, but I hope you guys are enjoying this and if you are please leave a like subscribe down below let's jump into cyberpunk 2077 <gasps> all righty let's continue where we left off oh so as it's just waking up so pretty much exactly where we left off yesterday perfection And we should get a call from Jackie. <clears throat> you get any sleep? Yeah, no matter. Have you got up? I think I might have caught something. When I jagged into that corpo's biomod. No. Neurovirus or I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head in Mac and Jesus. Okay, let me take you. I forgot about Mac and Jesus. All right, Jackie. Oh, we'll check my email in just a second. So we got in the wardrobe department, shall we? So no hats, no that, none of that. We got a new jacket. <laughs> I'm not a baggy jean person. I like straight jeans. Um, rock those. I think that's what I'm wearing now, isn't it? Uh, there we go. Ah, I'm wearing this shirt. Finally. Yeah, I like the shirt more. Yeah, we're, we'll just rock what we got going on right now. Um, let's check our messages. Auto fixer. An auto fixer net page. Oh yeah, that's all where all the vehicles and stuff are for auto fixer. That's right. We ain't getting money for any of that yet. Later. Hey, yo, B. What's up? How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? I like it. Gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. Curious to see how he handles the likes of B. So how about it? Yeah, why not? Keep that head moving. Um, ba -ba. something about fighting mm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring you've got sharp instincts good edge you can go far 
Hell yeah. Get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. fair. Like I said, good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. If you win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kaboom. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Hell yeah. Kind of fun to do that. What's up, Wilson? I was going to say, I think he has a free pistol for me. I will take that. And I will take Go Hunters. And we'll replace it with this pistol. Oop. How are y'all doing today while we're taking this elevator ride? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm very excited to be continuing this one. Um, I have uh, restarted the playthrough on Avatar. I haven't got too far with it, but I have restarted it. Let's go meet with Jackie. Come up, Jackie. Hold on. Mm. Man of the hour. <laughs> Jeez. Took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. <laughs> Love you too, Jackie. Uh, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Or... Sounds good. Had a little bit of a weird glitch there. So happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J O B. Hell yeah. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Totally the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. <laughs> hundred pounds of partly gold plated coup. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Forgot. The nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. A lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. about this stinks Jack you want to shake his hand work with him it's the biz B everyone's got blood on their hands you deal with it you move on what's the job what's the gig we meant to come out in one piece 
Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is riding on you now, I see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dex has to say. Set it up. Might as well. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. You know what's funny is I don't remember what happens. Get me start on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, and then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, B. Gracias, Dios. Soy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with his gaps. Thanks, brother. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's, Let's go. Factory new ride. Oh boy. First stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. The FSD. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. I had to change my paddles because I have my one clickers. But whenever I drive, <laughs> it's really, really harsh. Let's take a look. Hey, well. Dr. Vector will see you now. Awesome. I'll see you guys. Have fun, Jackie. Yeah, I know what these guys are. Surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. See you too, baby. Oh, wow. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Your last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. I think I might have gotten spiky. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that. How are things? Not bad. Need some new kit, but the tools, not toys, Vic. It's time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. If need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Nope. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down, relax. So it'll be fun. Corrosiopi. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Oh, I forget how creepy this part is. Kuroshi? Whoa, Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm, sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. Thanks, Vic. You peruse and choose while I scan. See what's going on inside. Face. Yeah, this is all different than what it used to be. 
confirm. Increase the ricochet chance with power weapons. Original links user to optical implant to the weapon system offering real time weapon info. Hell yeah. So what is this? Armor. Ooh. Hell yeah. Can I get any more? No. Um, let's see if there's anything else we can kind of afford yet. Nothing too crazy yet. Skeleton. Oh, so this took over the clothing upgrades. So you can kind of just wherever you want, but you get everything done here instead. That's so dope. Oh, that makes this so much easier. Mark one, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. Just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. <clears throat> I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Ouch. Feel anything? Play by play, though. Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. <laughs> now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. <laughs> Lights out for a minute, all right? Alrighty. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> ah, my eye itches. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. All the noises. Oh. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Dick. <laughs> oh, beautiful. It's really funny that, uh, you get like a visual upgrade, like the world doesn't look so fuzzy now. It's more crystal clear. It's really funny how that works. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. Hell yeah. I also inject. NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. I don't know. A database of individuals and bounties assigned to them is now available to use. Oh, cool. So we have like bounty targets now. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Victim, not bad. I don't know what to say. <clears throat> say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. I don't think I've ever taken two whiffs an hour later. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big league. I'll never forget you, Vic. Oh, kitty. My precious. My sweet little teen.
can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields. Don't stick it so long, move your ass, I say. Dax is waiting on us. Come here, Jackie. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. <coughs> Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Misty, right? Yeah. See you later, Misty. She got cycle attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. Are you good, my man? Unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. Oh boy, he's just deep posted in the floor. Got it. Okay. Basically just beat the shit out of him. Got it. How's it going today, sir? Oh, that's kind of dope. What's up, Dex? How you doing today, good sir? Pleasure. Sure. He says, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Um. It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. Give it me and my cameras. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype test. A biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. There's suck a fuck. Surely that's no problem. That's a death sentence, not at all. Let's be confident. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving with that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Okay. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beat? Slot in the shot. Let's take a look. We've got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing its thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Okay. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gang mate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aimed to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this ship's room, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in the <coughs> convoy. Okay. Corporation, 
internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. So when leaves, she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. No kidding. To do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Tell me about the client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leave me. <coughs> Jaggy's gonna fucking shit up. I think I got it. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Sounds good. That everything? Cool. I'll skip the ride. One more thing, Mr. Davis. Yep. Quiet light or blaze of glory. Hmm. Later now. <laughs> Definitely couldn't do the quiet life. Street cred leveled up. Two attribute points. Two perk points. Hell yeah. Um. What is this one? Mainly for blunt weapons, right? I would really like this, so let's acquire that. Ten percent regen rate for each enemy nearby an enemy. Yes, please. I have a feeling we're gonna get into some shit. Um, and then let us sniper rifles, handguns, and throwable weapons. I'm gonna think I might go cool for I'm gonna fire one there, and then intelligence is one ram. Um, uh, smart weapons. Let's acquire that so we get more intelligence and more cool. All right. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. There's gonna be a time. Clint will want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom <laughs> Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom cleft it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Frick, hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> she ignored. There's a little symbol here I want to check out. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. Dex must know what he's doing. So, Let's see what that is. Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Um, I'm gonna start with a client. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Sounds good, Jackie. Um, is this the staircase up? This is. Can't sprint for whatever reason. Excuse me. I'm bummer to scan, right? Yep. Hello. 
grab a program. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? Yes. Had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Okay. Um, sure. Grab that. How's this work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here, grab some shady running soft? No, not just any punk. Over the counter, we fix cyber decks. But if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, I'm sure you will find it. Okay. Cool, oh, thank you. That's not important. Um, Dexter Sean. I just want to remind you, Eddie's have already changed hands between me and my Thanks for that stuff. Good to me, can't start in Korea. <laughs> All right, so that's stacked to Sean. All right, she said I have this right. Try it here. Yeah. Let's take a look and see. All right, one C fifty five. Here. C fifty-five. Next interface. Sick. Anyways, hope they serve you well. As they say, style is supreme, or maybe they don't anymore. I don't know. Thanks, Vic. Go to Lizzie's bar between six PM and six AM. Think it is 2 30 p.m. Should be able to get there. Ouch. Let's call the car in. What's this? Oh, it's cool. So you can just walk around with a radio on. That's sick. We might do that. Oh, let me get in. Change my paddles for one clicks to. Just so I have less, it's like, because this is what normal triggers are. This is what happens when you have this. It's full speed or not. So I don't want that <laughs> when I'm trying to drive without crashing constantly. That in the braking is literally this. It's just 100% brake or none at all. With this, I can actually slowly hit the brake. So we shall head over here. I do have copyrighted music off, so we can actually listen to music in this game, which is nice. All right. Then not here. Skip time till six. Perfection. <clears throat> Look 
Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure, I'm in. And I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that greasy. Like I don't know. <coughs> mm-hmm. Doors open. Thank you. How's it going? Get you something. Um. Ellen Parker, you know she's here. She was asking. Big tipper, generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Officer. It's all right, Mateo. Nice to meet you. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Um. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got some before. But not here. Come with me. How's that? We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Oh, well, that dude. <laughs> Dex had a load to say about you. He called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Um. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? No. They started working with me, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews and long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. You taking the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Nope. Classy Corp hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for. As you'll see 
for yourself. Where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu okay. Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real <coughs> are. Tell me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Nightwatch. Plans to sell it to them. Okay. If you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Yeah, it's not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? I don't know. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Sounds good. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm hmm. BD rec implant. Why? You object? No, no. No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back uh, years. I love Judy. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Judy! <clears throat> I had a Judy with a relationship, my friend. Judy was the one I was in a relationship with the first time I played this. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Don't even start. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BD yet? What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm hmm V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we... Camera... <laughs> I think that's good for a thumbnail, don't you? Drop B inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about or maybe should it go? Maybe should this one be it? Ooh, raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? No, never. I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff? 
Uncharted territory. Relax. I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down. Settle in. And we'll get you going. Alrighty. Create your sentry profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis off. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what DZ analysis is capable of. Alrighty. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample screen. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... <sighs> Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Guys, don't take a sec. I got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Let's get it. simple do nothing odd don't get creative you go in snatch the cash get out and we sell the bd to those psycho freaks from the studio got it got it and remember everything on full blast they'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high okay on you go See you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Oh! Ah. Slow, deep breath. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. Could have warned me. Flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. <coughs> I'm sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up. Let's switch over to editing mode. Yep. to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Full scene view. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little tango. So, analysis come. mode, you control playback. You can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Clean as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Yeah, Give it a try. I... Rewind, you roll it back to the top. All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Nothing creepy. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. We sell whatever. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the Enviro recorded by the BD Roller. 
Okay. Focus on the heat. The gun that Gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. No. Creative. You go in, snatch the cash. Get out. We don't need those exactly. They'll spot us. Head. Right here. Scanning. <sighs> Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if a roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, fuck! On you go! Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Oh yeah. Playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw stuff the roller of cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now, let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Go restock. I'll take the, the register. And a How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay. eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and no. serpentine. Everybody! Oh. On the ground! Ah, what I see you get in the flooring! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. There we go. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you. I swear to God, what is it? Now, before I blow your fucking head off. See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. His Damn. Alrighty. <clears throat> yeah, impressive, right? Too bad most of the BDs you do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when. Need T Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Runner for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risk I took by letting you in here. What I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in, or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. Fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug 
Look, listen. I got some useful footage from Compecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compecky? Important, T-Bug. Please focus. I need your help. I've got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? I'm Militech. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice and... Perfection. Camera systems. Shit, cameras packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. You look like a kind of fuckable meat, are you? Jesus Christ. Oh, it's the same thing that was over there. Cameras. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling servers gotta be fancy doodads in here. Need to be controlled. But make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. I need a minute. Maybe something to important. Yep. Docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Oh. Our motion security cameras and then armed turret. systems are linked to the hotel subnet we need the flathead no other way to shut down these systems okay can't get around them ourselves nope at least i'm fresh out of ideas Scannable here. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Ah, uh, you like this. Man. 
Manual details a special chip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Ventilation system. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Chip matches that stipulated in the docs, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. Definitely not what we were looking for. I'm thinking it's over in the floor over there somewhere. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. There we go. Who's got the case here? Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? Yep. Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cache on your data. You were never here. Thank you. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. <laughs> Portable device for handling VDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Thank you. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, you know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Fuck up and they come knocking on my door. Judy, relax. They ain't never gonna figure out you were a part of this. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Thanks, Judy. Let's. Well, what do you think? Uh, connection So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. Fuck over our fixer. I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... It doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. Don't think about it. Agreed. There'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. 
Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <clears throat> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. Alright. Hey, we level up. Put that in. Technical ability. What is this? Jeez. Charge speed, taking time, runner, time, light, oh, uh, two. Beat, oh, my answer everywhere. Also allows you to bypass some blocks override devices. Seven. We'll level that up. Um, but I'm probably gonna grab something here. Aiming and hand breaking simultaneously. You know what? Let's grab that. Being able to slow time while driving in this game is going to be really helpful. Turns out Evelyn was recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead? Nothing yet. On it now. T Bug says no chance of that ship without that five to work there. Yep. Oh, We'll call her. Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced the convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nuh uh. Not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the clouds. <laughs> Meet you there. All right. So we'll go meet up with her. Afterwards, we'll meet up with Jackie, and then I think I might call it An episode. We eat a meal, and then we're right back. Be right here. Switch camera views. I like first person views in cars. Test out the third person view. So. I will say the driving in this game feels a lot better than it used to. Take a left up here. Ooh, drifting in first person is rough. What's up, y'all? Hell. Look lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call. 
Yeah. Um, hello? That'd be me. Ouch. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker. Set conditions. Blackmail you, bitch. Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down. I just want to talk. Thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yes. Yep. Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Now listen, you guys. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. I have no idea. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> Him, you can let go. Want to hear what he has to say? <clears throat> Couldn't have been chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off had it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force. They're expecting payment, so I could go that route, too. Fine, the latter, but on one condition. You pay with our money. Okay. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. Some surge you can find in the world contain information hidden behind data encryption measures to decrypt a shard First, either open it through notif the notifications when you acquire it, or find it later in the shards tab under the journal in the main menu. Then select crack security to unlock its secrets. Okay. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Sounds good. You're making a mistake. This comes already good as dead. I can't take you down with her. Hey, Leo Smeal. Up in. Might actually go meet the fixers. Uh, let's see. Shards. Um, leaflets. Technology. Crypt. Fuck it. Let's try it. All right. So we need BD, BD, FF, five, five. So BD, BD, FF, five, five. So BD, BD, FF, by five. Um, one C, E9, one C, E9. Tech unauthorized that is strictly prohibited. go meet up with um Jackie and then let's go actually take a look at this uh we'll actually make this a little bit of a longer episode we'll go fuck with the middle tech guys and then we'll call it an episode seems like it's easier to drive if you just drift. I 
Whatever the hell that guy said. Very convoluted way to get to Jackie. What's up, Jackie? Let me hear what you squared away. The Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing mm. is, can't be sure the gang dudes are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You skin yet? You got a plan? No tech in me. We found some common ground they're footing the bill for the bot there's a lot of scratch to toss away mm -hmm. get it jack it'd be like we never had it in the first place anyway who knows how this deal's gonna shake out <sighs> so, <clears throat> into the blurg beast den onward let's see these bastards all right let's knock on their door see if they even open up oh shit Is there any way to Fuckers. had to be them? It's a gang like any other, right? I picked the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. We know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. Said Maelstrom. Okay, so if you just double tap Y, it goes away. Talk to Royce. Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. That was scary for about a half a second. <sighs> Seems dark as shit. I'm gonna actually, speaking of dark as shit, I'm gonna turn the brightness up so that you guys have a way easier way of seeing this. Um, graphics, can I turn the brightness up? Accessibility maybe? I don't care about difficulty. Controls. Face. It's on. Yo, camera correction. Turn it to point nine five. Could use a few plans. There we go. Now you guys should be able to see it a little bit better because I know uh, in recordings sometimes it's a lot darker. I don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Jack Convoy, gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. Right. About their boss, Royce? Dex yeah. Mentioned. Called him special. Had dialogue somewhere? Let's go have a seat, shall we? Somewhat working. Get in the elevator. Fucking shit. All right, keep chill, B. Remember, we're on their turf. Oh, yeah. What do you want? We got a bot. Model MT zero D one two. Call the flathead. And the hell you can. Guy I represent already paid brick for. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch. Planet. Alrighty. Nasty ass couch. 
So we got some going on. He's smoking. He's chilling. Jackie. Sit down. Okay, brother. Of course it ain't gonna end well. You kidding me? source what's it do ups dwarfs and adrenaline to the point you feel no pain the trip's so intense it verges on psychosis corpse fed it to their fighting legions during the corp wars cyber psychos pop the tabs like candy vaporizing it mellows the bird without killing any of their venom come on give it a whirl i'll pass Nice hair. Here we go. A flat head. Model MT zero D twelve. Militech's not gonna come looking for it. Fuck 'em. They can hop around and try. We removed the serial number and lifted access locks using our saw. What's yours is yours. All right then. <laughs> Need to <clears throat> not the dedicated control unit for a flathead. Ha! Of course not. Militech controllers auto-link to Militech systems. I mean, you wouldn't want them tracking their stolen tech back to your hands. Yeah, Ravens are baby. Had improved neural sync and no fucking pesky tracing. You ask it's me nice having dialogue. Bitch. Guards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? Mm -hmm. Here's the credit. Hell, 
I'll even toss in some info as a friendly bonus. Militech's on to you. They're close. Like what? Cred chip was spiked with a virus. Don't worry. I wiped it. <laughs> Check it. Yeah, it's clean. We good? Mad rusty cunts. Tell us how to deal with this shit. You right, Jackie. The fuck you take my spot? style I'd say Let's go Throw We'll ride the production line Flip it off Come on hurry up Hey do dumb whatever your name is As soon as a ship Let's look for some shit. I don't have to fight these guys. Ow! I do have to fight these guys. Good to know. Um, short circuit. Might as well grab as much shit as we can, huh? God, I love pistols. That's why I did cool so much, because I just, I just, God, it just feels so good using pistols. Out of the way. Glass is being a douche. Oh, I just realized this was fully automatic. I'm an idiot. It would have been a lot easier knowing that from the beginning. Oh. 
lot harder to control now. You are smoking me, you bitch. Now let's bounce. What, do I climb up or something? No? How do I get up there? That's what, oh, there's stairs here, stupid. What was this? Medical gauze. Let's head up these stairs. Yeah, the combat in this game just feels good. Health item upgrade. Oh, let me grab it. Whatever. What? Where do you want me to go? Excuse me. Yeah, that's the reason why I use Jackie's pistol so much uh, whenever I played through originally it was because of how much I just love handguns in this game. As you guys know from my gameplay and COD and stuff like that, handguns and uh, pistols are my thing. Which is why I want to get another sniper rifle done because I want to get those... Uh, Gold, uh, platinum and golden enigma so I can start working on the like diamond camos diamond camos for those um, This way then up here Reboot optics. I'm gonna suck. How many do I have? Oh, I have six. Nice. A lot more than I thought I did. Overheat. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Wanted to let you know I like your style. Well, got anything to say? Thanks, V. You're saving your sorry tin can ass. Are you fucking high? Your 
pesky. What? Oh, um. Thanks. Hi. Past the gate. It's off there. Wait. Hold He's your coming fire. for me. I'd like a word with him. Yeah, what's up? He shot at my people. They drew and fired first. A fact of no consequence to Militech management. But if you'd worked the stout, I'd be dead by now. Might not have intended it, but you saved my life. Now I'm saving yours. Makes us even. Gotta admit, didn't expect to see you here. You were followed, but I'm sure you know that. Mm -hmm. Stout's people were on your tail, my people were on theirs. In the end, she lost her nerve. Thought she hopped in bed with Maelstrom behind her back. Hit the big red button prematurely. Classic. When you don't know what to do... <laughs> Why not order an all-out assault on a food factory? Mm-hmm. About sums it up. I made sure it blew up in her face. Business with Maelstrom hardly ever ends well, does it? I think we're done here. And doubt you'll find much inside. Well, I still don't know who the mole is. I was hoping the Maelstromers would shed some light on it. By the way, where's Royce? Need a word with him, too. It's been a pleasure. That's for done, yeah. Jesus Christ. Do that, Jackie. Oh, shit. We make a good team, Jack. I think you might be right. In any case, I don't regret switching my life up the way I did. Well, that'd be the sweet taste of success, my friend. Hey, call up Dex. Let him know we got his toy. Meeting to celebrate at the afterlife. Are you luego, V? Hey, luego. <laughs> how things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? <laughs> what about the Militech gang? Sure, of course it was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits if you and Brick had shaken on him. How'd you get him on board? You use the corporal? Yep. Stout, managed to strike a deal. <laughs> Gave me the chip with the scraps from Maelstrom. I warned Royce. We made a deal. You got some balls, Mr. V. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. V. Later, Dexter. Alrighty. Let's use these uh level up, shall we? Um if for assault rifle, some machine guns, no. Let's pump up our cool and let's get some more health up at this beach. Intelligence. I want to get this high, really high as well. Um, cool. Limit speed. None of that really suits my fancy currently. Um, yes. Let's acquire that. Closer you are to the target. Automatically high bites near my access points. Yes. 40% explosive damage, 80% additional explosion damage to enemies affected by quack quick hacks. 
access sequence length required to hack an access point by one total sequence length cannot be reduced below two characters Reduce the RAM costs the close you are to target now. I usually do them from pretty far away. Um let's see, is there any other ones that I want? Five percent instant recharge on health items and grenades after neutralizing enemy. We don't even have this to four yet, which what does this give me? I think we'll unlock we'll get this one to four my next level up. Uh when using blump pumps everywhere, health wear items, fifty percent of missing health, sixty percent generate. think rock that one I think that is going to be all for today's episode of cyberpunk I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please leave a like and subscribe down below and comment what was your favorite thing about Cyberpunk when you originally played? I know a lot of people didn't like it, and if you haven't liked it, I'd say definitely jump into it now um, more than any time, because there's a lot of updates that came out for this game, and they're all really, really good updates. The feeling of this game is a lot better, and I'm ha uh, the direction they took it was more of the way that I was hoping it was going to be originally. It's definitely a lot more fun this time around, and they made it a lot more uh, what's the word it's definitely upgraded um they made it a lot more fun like you more your spec your gear more than you spec yourself well you spec yourself but i'm meaning like the clothing you wear it's really cool that they took the armor rating away from those and it's more focused on the cyberware inside your body to completely change the play style and everything like that i think that's really awesome but anyway i will see you beautiful people in the next episode of cyberpunk 2077 much love peace out bye bye